Voice talent and actors who do voice work ask me all the time, what's the mic you use? What's the sound recording and editing software you use? What's the what's the this, what's the that? And regarding the sound editing software that I use, they're often surprised that I don't say Pro Tools, I don't say Logic, I don't say Studio One or Reaper or uh, anything other than Audacity. And there's one very good reason for that. Actually, there's about a dozen, but there's one that really pops out, and I'll share that with you in this episode of the VO Heroes Podcast. As actors who do voice work, as pure voice talent, we have an awful lot of choices available to us regarding the equipment that we use, the software that we use, the items that we put in our studio to lower our sound, and a DAW, or a digital audio workstation, is central to what we do. It has to be able to record us cleanly and accurately and be able to be edited efficiently and quickly and spit out great uh, great work. And I, just as a, as a bit of background, I know Pro Tools very well. For a long time, I was a DigiDesign, which was a company that, that uh, preceded Avid in owning uh, Pro Tools. I was a DigiDesign certified engineer, certified consultant. I was an Avid certified consultant. So I know Pro Tools really, really well. And it has its place when I produce demos for voice talent. I use Pro Tools uh, or I use Logic or I have my buddy Trevor, who's awesome at doing production, use Logic. But there's one digital audio workstation that for me has been a game changer that I absolutely adore, that I use pretty much 100% of the time, and that I recommend to you if you're a voice talent uh, to others who, who ask, and that is Audacity. Now, the reason that I use Audacity is it's so direct and so perfect for what we need. And what we need as voice talent is not usually multi-track production with lots of different tracks doing sound effects and stuff. Occasionally we need that, but mostly what we need is a single track of recorded sound, our voice, the ability to quickly edit that sound and to spit it out as an MP3 to send it in for an audition or spit it out for a WAV file and send it in as finished work. And Audacity does that so well. It has lots of other options, but if I wanted to, for example, do multi-track recording, as I said, I'd use Pro Tools or I'd use Logic. If I wanted to do MIDI, which is for musicians, not for voice talent, uh, I'd probably use Pro Tools. Again, MIDI is, is an instrumentation uh, uh, concept, and, you know, Audacity doesn't do that. If I wanted to do automation of my mix down, and you've probably seen a video of a console with multiple faders on it, all moving on their own as the track plays. And that's because when the engineer first adjusted all of those things, faded things up or faded things down or adjusted the volume, the software, Pro Tools or whatever they were using, recorded the movements of those faders so that when they play back, the tracks, those faders can move with little motors inside them all on their own and give the engineer a visual cue. Now, we don't need that. We don't do that. And Audacity doesn't do that either. And all of that combined, in addition to the fact that it records sound just as well as any of those very high-priced digital audio workstation software options, it's free. Now, that's not why I use it. Because if they wanted to charge me for it, I likely would consider continuing on with it. But even if it was reasonably priced, it would be great. The fact that it's free is like a bonus. But it's those other things that it doesn't do, that we don't have to get past. We don't have to worry about, for example, with Pro Tools, it's a pretty steep learning curve. Audacity is fairly straightforward. It's got a huge user base. So there's people all around the world using it. There's a huge base of people developing it. It's now uh, managed by a company that has sort of a track for its future. All of those things combined and the fact that I've been able to build 
a business uh, on training people how to use Audacity for audiobooks in particular and voiceover in general. And I use it. So, you know, I've said this a million times. I eat my own dog food. That's a business phrase, meaning I don't just recommend you do something and I do something else. I do this. And so that's why I love and use and recommend Audacity for voiceover talent because it records a single track really, really well. It lets us edit that track quickly and it lets us put out a file that we can use for either auditions or finished work just as fast and in just as great shape as any of those more expensive pieces of software. So that's why. Uh, I hope this helps if you're looking for a DAW. What DAW do you use? What, what sound software do you use and why? Why do you use that software? Especially if you're voice talent, why do you use software that is more complicated, in my opinion, than it needs to be? It, it's Whatever you want to use, fine. I just would love to know. Put it in the comments below. I'd be happy to find out. And I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you listening, if that's how you're consuming this podcast. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and I will speak to you soon in the next episode of the VO Heroes podcast. Mm -hmm.